Hello, I am Nadia McInnes and welcome to You Are Gifted. Today we are going to discuss how you can discover your gift and start that business. When I was a young girl in high school, I was probably about 12 or 13 years old. I was asked to join the debating club. Yes, the teachers asked me to join the debating club. I really don't know why. Maybe they heard me speak or something, but they asked me to join the debating club. It wasn't something I wanted to do, but I was asked to join the debating club. So I did. After joining the, the, the debating club, I realized that I kept winning debating competitions and they would ask me to do another competition and I would win best speaker, best debater. To be honest, at that time, I didn't see anything special about me debating. I just, I was given a script or we were asked to research a topic and I researched the topic and then I delivered the script. And they would say, oh, this is good, this is good. And then I started to think, could I be good at this? Could this be something that I can do? I didn't recognize it. Other people said it to me. Kept debating and I kept getting awards for it. Anyway, that's when I was in high school. I became an adult, started doing something completely different. And then I was listening to... Dr. Miles Monroe one day, in fact, this was exactly four or five years ago. It was the day he died. I started listening to Dr. Miles Monroe and he said, if you have not yet discovered your gift, think about that thing that you used to do when you were a young girl or a young boy. What was it that you enjoyed doing or what was it that you did that people commended you for? And I was like... And you know, I, the more I listened to Dr. Miles Monroe talking about how to discover your gift, and he kept asking these questions. When you were in primary school, when you were in high school, what did you like to do? What did people commend you on? And the only thing that I could remember was when I debated, was when the teachers asked me to do a presentation in which I had to speak. Those were the only thing, academically, the grades were not excellent. So the only thing I could remember that I was constantly getting commended for was when I was presenting or I debated or I had to speak about a particular topic. And after listening to Dr. Miles Manuel that day, I discovered, oh my God, that's actually my gift. That's the only thing that I do that I am... Not that I, w I won't say I don't feel any fear because that would be a lie. We all feel a bit um, fearful sometimes when you're asked to speak in public in front a huge, you know, crowd. Or even sometimes a crowd of five, you'll be surprised the fear that comes up. But you will learn how to overcome that. But that's when I realized that my gift is actually speaking. So now I want to encourage you and I want to do to you what Dr. Miles Manuel did to me. What is it that you enjoy doing when you were in primary school? What is it that you enjoy doing when you were in um, secondary school or some people call it high school? Can you think about that time, the thing that you really enjoy doing? And let me tell you a twist to that. Sometimes it's not even that you really enjoy doing that thing. But, but every time you did that thing, someone commended you on it and then maybe that's when you realize i'm just being me that's your gift think about when you're in primary school think about when you're in secondary school or high school what was that thing that every time you did it you got commended for it that is your gift that is your gift and then when you discover your gift the second part is how do you turn this gift into a business how do you turn this gift into business well it all depends on what your gift is for me it was easy i i i discovered that i love to speak and then when i spoke people seem to be transformed so i started a company training young people teaching young people about entrepreneurship about public speaking teaching them about self-esteem and about confidence and that's how i started gifted enterprise so it all depends on what your gift is think about it and think how can i turn this you know some people are good at writing 
some people are good at applying makeup I am not some people are good at so many different things that training people in different areas think about how can I put that that together and start a business I told you oh I did it by listening to the late Dr. Miles Monroe on the day he died and he said think about that thing that you were commended for when you were in primary school and high school and that's the only thing that I could really honestly say I was constantly commended every time I spoke in public every time I gave a presentation every time I was asked to, to debate every time I was asked to speak on a top on a particular topic I was always commended and then I said this is my gift and that's how I discovered my gift and started my business so I encourage you and I ask you the question again what were you good at in primary school what were you good at in secondary school and that is your gift thank you for watching i've got another part two to this coming if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell me what you got and more importantly tell me what you are going to do as a result of what you heard today god bless you and always remember that you are gifted.